Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the 2018 Skylander Royal Rumble Match! The rules are as followed. Two randomly selected Skylanders start as entries 1 and 2. The match will take place in the ring out mode on Skylander Swap Force. The only way for a Skylander to be eliminated is to be knocked out of the ring. As soon as a Skylander is eliminated, the Skylander who drew the next number will enter. This will continue until all 30 Skylanders have entered the match. After all 30 Skylanders have entered, the Skylander left standing is the winner of the 2018 Skylander Royal Rumble and will then get the option to choose to compete for the Crash Dash or Crash Smash Trophy at a later date. Now introducing the participant who drew entry number one. And now it's just like the participant who drew entry number two. Ready, three. Here two, we go, three. folks. The Skylander War Rumble 2018 it begins right now. Entry number one, Scratch, and entry number two, Blizzard Chill. Duking it out right here, so the rules are simple. They gotta knock each other out of the ring. This is going to be an amazing time. I cannot predict what's going to happen with this. It's unpredictable. 30 Skylanders. And it's just going to be a huge fight here. And they can use the power-ups on the outside and everything. Scratch taking advantage of Blizzard Chill right off the bat here. Blizzard Chill using the walls to her advantage. That's a great idea because Scratch will not be able to get past them. Scratch! Oh! I thought Scratch almost jumped off the edge there. That was insane! Oh, this is intense right now. Breaking down the walls right now. Revenant of Chris Jericho from the Royal Rumble. Oh, look at that Blizzard Chill almost knocking Scratch out. What a night! What a hit by Scratch! Oh, look at that Blizzard Chill just barely makes it back on. It's intense. Back and forth. What a great start to this Royal Rumble. And these guys got to be careful. They got to last. Oh, look at that! Scratch knocks out Blizzard Chill! Entry number three on the way. And it's Thornhorn Camo. Oh, this is going to be a good one right now. Thornhorn Camo getting right in on it. Wasting no time in between the fights here. You got to take advantage of a prone Scratch. Because the thing is, the longer the Skylanders in, good, we don't know how how hurt they're going to be later on. Because Scratch is number one right now, but Scratch could make it to the end. But who knows what could happen in this Royal Rumble here. That's what's the great unpredictability of the Royal Rumble. Look at that! Thornhorn came with a huge hit going right after Scratch. The Scratch is taking it to Thornhorn Camo here. Thornhorn Camo using that technique of going underneath. Losing that cat Scratch, but look at that! That was awesome, the whirlwind there. But Thornhorn Camo, look at that! Beautiful hits! And Scratch barely makes it back on! And as soon as he lands, Thornhorn Camo keeps going after him. This is an intense fight. I gotta say, Thornhorn Camo has that advantage, as you can see. Oh, what a landing! Cats always land on their feet! You saw it firsthand there. But I gotta say, Thornhorn Camo has that advantage of going underground and using those wa the watermelon bombs there. This is intense. You gotta be careful. Oh! Oh! It looks like he landed it there. Really close. Oh, back and forth. What a fight this is. This is an excellent fight. Second fight of the Royal Rumble here. Oh, he knocked him up. And that's it. Scratch is gone. Entry number one is gone. Entry number four is anchors away. Gil Grunt. And here he comes right into the arena. Wasting no time in between. They got to get right into this fight. Thornhorn getting the first hit, though. You got to say that stuff is not going to happen every day. Thornhorn Camo really giving the fight right away here. Look at that angst by Gil Grunt using his water's ability. Oh, takes him back there. It's unpredictable what this rumble could hold. It's gonna, it's gonna be amazing. There's a bomb on the outside there. Oh, nice knockback. And Gil Grunt lands, but Thornhorn Camo takes him after right away. I guess the Thornhorn Camo is taking the competition right here. He's doing pretty well. I mean, he's knocked out one opponent, knocked out entry number one scratch. So it's gonna be awesome here with his eliminations being at one. Look at that, and oh, there it goes! Through. Anchors away, kill Grunt! Thornhorn came with another elimination. Entry number five is Turbo Jet Vac. This should be an interesting one here. Jet Vac recently on the episode of Second Chance on Crash the Skylands, with Crash actually saying no to him. It's interesting. It's going to see uh, maybe will that affect him? Who knows? But we don't know. We don't know anything about any of the Skylanders in this. It could be. A completely evenly match. It looks like Thur Turbo Jetpack is bringing the bringing these strikes to Thornhorn Camo. Thornhorn Camo getting another quick hit on him there. This is all out offense. There's no defense in this kind of match. You can only take him out. Looks like Thornhorn Camo took advantage of one of those one of the abilities there. He got a shield. 
Oh, would Jetpack? Nice landing! Very close there. He's got to be careful. Oh, this might be smart strategy. That is a small terrain. You might be able to knock the Wonder Camel off of that by accident. Oh, Jetpack! And he barely lands back on it. Beautiful move. It's one thing he's got those range attacks. They both have them, so he might be. Oh, he walked off the edge! Are you kidding me? He was doing so well, and right after that, Hot Dog, entry number six on the way here in the Skyland Royal Rumble. Firebone Hot Dog. I can't believe Jetback just walked off the edge. He had such a good fight on the go there. But we'll see how Firebone Hot Dog does in this. We got an Earth vs. Life Skyland. We see how this goes. Hot Dog using that jump ability there. Oh, knocking him back. Here we go. He's using those fireball attacks. We'll see how that goes. Let's see how that does, to be honest, because it should be a pretty good move. But the fact that Thornhorn Camel keeps going underground is not making this good. Thornhorn Camel now has three eliminations. Oh, knocking him back. Oh, nice landing from Thornhorn there. I got to say, he Thornhorn Camel has a very impressive showing right off the bat here. It looks like he dropped. He actually, he's, he's dropping some of the bags of poop there. Oh, is he going to land it? Oh, perfect landing! You say cats land RV, looks like dogs do too. Oh, that's a nice hit. Oh, Thornhorn Cam with a beautiful landing. Oh, this is in very intense. This is getting close here now. Oh, Thornhorn Cam is very close to the edge there. Look at this back and forth right on that little gear. Like you got, they were playing, they were dancing with the devil right now. And there goes Firebone Hot Dog. Number seven, it's Dune Bug. All right, we're gonna see how the core from Squat Force does in this fight. This is gonna be an interesting one here. He's got that ability. I got to say, those little those missiles that he has are pretty good. And I don't know if Camel can be picked up by his Dune Ball, but I mean, it's pretty good. He can get a lot of strength on that. So we'll see how Thorn on Camel does this. Oh, nice hit there, but he got around him. Dune Bug is pretty. It seems like he's more. It seems like he's more of a lightweight versus Thornhorn Camel, so he may be able to get around him quicker. Dune Bug hanging on the other side, using the teleporter back. Camel is really close to the edge. Did you notice that? Camel almost walked off the edge. He could have easily walked off the edge. Doombug is bringing it to Camo here, Doombug. Oh, did he get to land it? Oh, beautiful landing on the outer ring. Perfect spot for it. And Camo trying to hit him from far away. Like, that's how you do it. It's all out offense with this fight. And Doombug is gone. There goes Doombug. Entry number nine. Eight, eight sorry. Wind up. Oh, this should be a good one right now. Wind up. Look at this. Look at this move. He is spinning around Thornhorn Camo. He is going around him. That is amazing. What a, that is a great ability to keep circling around him, and he keeps hitting him with those hits. Look at that. He is laying in the Thornhorn Gamo. He has been watching in the back. He knows what to do to take out Thornhorn. Oh, what a close fight, though. They are back and forth. This is amazing. He is taking him with his abilities. And look at this. Oh, what a hit. The Thornhorn got. No, he lands onto the edge. Oh, he's very. You got to be careful. Looks like they're both playing it safe here. Thornhorn Camel gotta be careful. He can easily fall. Look at this wind up going everywhere. He knocks him off. Is he off? He's gone. Thornhorn Camel is out after that reign of terror. Entry number nine. Eruptor. Hey, making his way to the arena now. Oh, this is gonna be intense here. Lava Barf Eruptor is in the match. Wind up just hook out the reign of terror of Thornhorn Camo. Thornhorn Camo with four eliminations. Congrats to him. He's got nothing to be ashamed of in this. In this fight, he has the most eliminations thus far. We don't know how that's how that's gonna hold on. We'll see how this goes. That was a really close fight to the edge there. Oh, look at that! Using the shield to his advantage, wind up grabbing that shield. He can't get knocked back now because of that. Oh, look at that! He's got a range. Yeah, he has a range attack too. If you guys didn't know that, he has those spring abilities. Eruptor trying his best to just stand back, and it looks like oh, Eruptor might be gone. Oh, oh, and he doesn't make it. Eruptor is out. We are already one third of the way through the roster. Zulu coming in next. Entry number 10 here to the Skyland Royal Rumble 2018. What an intense, what an intense, intense fight so far. We still got 20 more entries, guys. This is amazing. Zulu is a fan favorite. I know that a lot of people have been talking about Zulu in the Skyland Royal Rumble, but Wind Up is definitely one of the undercards here. This is an amazing fight. Oh, Zulu is close to the edge here. It's Man, oh, wait, back and forth. Zulu is up. Oh, he just barely lands and wind up on him. Fell off the edge there. They gotta be careful where they stand. Wait, Zulu! Zulu just fell off the edge! Are you kidding me? Oh, it's number 11 is Heavy Duty Sprocket. This should be an interesting fight here. 
As you know, Sprocket is not one of the most impressive Skylines, but I mean, imagine if she were to win the Skylander Royal Rumble. We're going to be talking about her for years after that. The inaugural Skylander Royal Rumble to not talk about. So here we go. Wind up taking her out. Oh, look. Just, oh, she lands. Great landing. What do we got here? Oh, look at this. She's using mines to fill out the fill out the area. That's a great idea. But wind up using that circle technique. I don't know what that circle technique is, but it's working for him. That's all I know. Look at that. She's used. Put out a turret. Great idea. Use that as a turret. That's going to be easy hits for wind up. Oh, what is going on here? Looks like... Oh, oh, did he just let her get the tank? Windup is getting confident right now. He's eliminated a handful of Skylanders, and now he's already getting confident. He's only eliminated two Skylanders right now, actually. No, three, sorry. He's eliminated three Skylanders. Oh, look at this. He is... T oh, that was good there. Windup laying in the Sprocket. Oh, that could be it. That's probably it. There goes Sprocket. That's four eliminations for Windup. Smolder Dash, entry number 12. This is going to be a good fight here. These two Skylanders are both very offensive Skylanders, so this should be an amazing fight between these two. I am excited for this. Look at that, a double super punch at the same time. They knocked each other back. Smolder Dash using that whip. Oh, switching out to the Eclipse. She's got to be careful with that. Oh, look at that. She got the, she got a super punch before Windup did. Windup gets the super punch there. If anyone can take out Windup's Reign of Terror, it will be Smolder Dash. I can guarantee that one. Oh, look at that. Smolder Dash lands on the edge. She grabs a bomb. Oh, she's got to be careful with that bomb. Oh, what is happening here? We got a standoff. She threw the bomb and just missed Windup. Wow. Windup got lucky. He got lucky with that. And here we go. Back at it again. And that little breather in between. Windup's got to be getting tired now. I mean, he has been in here since entry number 8. And we're at entry number 12. Oh, nice hit there. Small Dash going to land it. Small Dash lands and wind up right on the offense. That's how you do it there. You do not waste any time. Wait! Small Dash walked off the edge! Oh my god, are you kidding me? That was one of this. That's probably the biggest shocker of this right now. When he's number 13, Slobber Tooth on his way in. That has got to be the most shocking moment thus far in this. Wow, Smolder Dash had wind up, and then she somehow walked off the edge. I didn't even really see it. I was paying attention to wind up because I thought he was eliminated. Man, oh man, look at that. Oh, oh, nice landing by wind up, barely making it back. Hitting Slobber, Slobber Tooth, Slobber Tooth's gone. That's another elimination for wind up. Injury number 14 with Punk Shock. Oh, this is going to be a good fight here. Punk Shock versus wind up. Entry number 14. Here in the Skylar Royal, we're almost halfway through the card already. Wind up now with seven eliminations. That's amazing. That's a huge, huge count for him. He is definitely the record holder right now. Sorry, six eliminations. My mistake. He's a six limit. Is it six? He's injured number eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, it's, he has six eliminations. So if he eliminates Punk Shock, that would be number seven. But Punk Shock is a very good Skylar. She got that shield on the go. Look, just dropped it though. Oh, interesting. Spring in the action. All right. Oh, man. Here we go. Using those springs to his advantage. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, close landing by wind up there. The crowd went silent for that one. They thought wind up's reign and terror was over. Like, who can stop wind up, Punk Shock? Beautiful landing, but wind up not wasting any time going right after her. They're on the edge right now. This is intense. This is anybody's fight right now. Oh, and Punk Shock is gone. Eliminated. Here it comes. Entry number 15. Super Gulp Pop Fizz. Here we go, folks. Entry number 15. That marks wind up seventh elimination. Unbelievable. Seven eliminations. That's a record that's going to hold true for years to now. That is intense. Here comes Super Gulp Pop Fizz. He turned into Fizzy Frenzy. See if he used that to his advantage. Oh, we grabbed the shield. That's going to help him out a lot here. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Wind up. Wind up was getting a little on the offensive there. Standing back a little too far to the edge. You know, they Pop Fizz has those variety of potions. He has that big bubble. You see the big bubble there? Oh, wait, oh! oh I thought Pop Fizz was done for. You see the distinct size of Andrew, too. Windup is very large compared to Pop Fizz. Pop Fizz switching to Frizzy Frenzy. Oh, and he barely lands on it. Look at that. Wow, Pop Fizz is impressing me right now. Entry number 15, halfway through the card. He's got to be doing this. And look at this. Windup going after a bomb. Interesting tactic. Oh! Oh, he is dazed and confused. He is dazed. That's going to be it. That's got to be it now. Oh, and there he goes. That's it. Oh, the bomb by Windup got him. Oh, 
Oh, here he comes. Mega Ram Spyro! He is hands down one of the most respected Skylanders here in this fight. Entry number 16, Mega Ram Spyro. This is going to be a fight right here. Wind up with eight eliminations. This is amazing. I can't get over this. This is a, this is the one that this this Royal Rumble is amazing. And we are more than halfway through it now with issue number 16, Mega Ram Spyro here and now. Back and forth, these two. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, back and forth, back. Oh, wind up landing, taking in the Mega Ram Spyro here. Mega Ram Spyro, oh! Beautiful landing! This is why he's one of the most respected Skylanders in Skylands right now. Back and forth on that little land, the little lip. Oh, and there goes Spyro! Just barely making out of the ring! And here comes Starstrike, represent, uh, Starstrike representing number 17. We can do this. That's pretty much her set up here. Can't you? Oh, look at that! Did you see that he knocked Starstrike into the air? Committing her in the air. What a tactic that was. So, whoa, 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 wind up was close to the edge. Oh, look at this, coaxing her into the edge. Like, wind up is getting cocky here, guys. I am loving this. Star Strike is gone! Out of the ring. That marks entry. That marks elimination number nine, if I'm not mistaken? Or entry number. Uh, elimination number ten. No, entry number. That was elimination number nine for a wind up. Wow, with Scorp coming in as entry number 18 here in the Skylander Royal Rumble. The first ever one. What a fight this has turned out to be. Man, oh man. Man, oh wind up. Oh, that was close to land on the edge there. I gotta say, whoever has Windup right now has got to be proud. Windup is destroying the competition. He is the one to beat. I would not be surprised if Windup makes the entry number eight all the way to the end. I can see it happening. I really can. We are on the edge here now. Oh, oh no! Windup fell off the edge! Are you kidding me? He walked off the side! With Scorp getting that elimination now! Wow, he survived nine eliminations from eight to number 18. Into number 19 with Grim Creeper in. Scorp is gone! Already off the edge! Well, this, is, this last minute has been so intense. Into number 20, we are two thirds of the way down the card. Twin Blade Chop Chop versus Grim Creeper here. I can't get over that elimination from windup. That has got to be the biggest upset of all time right there. I can't get over that. And then right after that, Grim Creeper taking out Scorp right away. That was amazing. And here we go with Twin Blade Chop Chop and Grim Creeper. Twin Blade Chop Chop has a huge fan base here on the channel. I know that for a fact. Wait, Grim Creeper walked right off the edge! What is happening with everybody just walking off the edge? Uh-oh. Here comes the man, the legend himself, Trigger Happy, as entry number 21 into the Skylander Royal Rumble. What a match is going to be. Big Bang Trigger Happy versus Twin Blade Chop Chop. You got two OGs facing off against each other right now. You want, you got to wonder who is going to win this Rumble after a shocker that just happened with Windup. And then the person eliminated will be eliminated seconds after. That's got to be the fastest elimination. Well, I can't say that's the fastest elimination yet. That's probably the fastest win. Oh, look at this. We got a standoff. What is happening here? That was it. That, oh, man. You can just feel the tension between both of those. Oh, what a shot. Oh, Twin Blade Chop Chop fell off the edge. Not a lot of people are going to be upset about that. And right after that, entry number 22, Countdown, making his way into the ring. Here we got two Tech Skylars. What is Trigger Happy doing right now? Trigger Happy? What was that? Trigger Happy just... Pretty much left the arena just to come right back again. Look at Countdown. Oh, Countdown using his head. He's using his head already. You gotta use your head in the sky on the Royal Rumble here. Got his little bed. little buddies coming out here. Oh, knocks him back. Oh, that was close. Trigger Happy grabs his shield. This is amazing here now. Oh, back and forth. Oh, looks like Trigger Happy might have Countdown's number here. Pretty much counting down to his defeat by the looks of it. Oh, Trigger Happy. That was close there. Could be a huge upset. Oh, look at that. Using the Gatling gun. Right in the middle of that gear. That was a perfect place to use it. Where is Countdown going? Countdown heading over to the side. He's got to be careful. He can easily walk out the edge here. We've seen it many a times in this battle. Oh, and he's back into it again. Trying to use tactics as advantage is a good thing to do. This is an intense fight right now. Big Bang Trigger Happy. What a hit! Oh, beautiful landing by Countdown! Oh man, props to Countdown for this. He is holding his own against Big Bang Trigger Happy. Oh, and that's 
That does it! No! Man's countdown! Really? Put up a good fight here, engine number 23 with Riptide. Making his way to the ring here now. Here we go. Oh my god! He was that close to hitting him with that with that killer whale! That was amazing! This is the only stuff you're going to be able to see here in the Skyland of Royal Rumble. A guy whips out a killer whale to try to take out his opponent. That is amazing. You're not going to see that every day, folks. Riptide is definitely one of the sleeper picks of this play, of this Royal Rumble right now. Big Bang Trigger Happy really using this to the advantage. Oh, what a hit! And, oh, he barely misses! Trigger Happy is gone! And you know, that's a good person to take a bet to. And here comes Prism Break. Hyper Beam. Prism Break. Making his way to the ring here. Entry number 24. We are getting very, very close to the end, folks. Who is going to win this? This has been an amazing, amazing fight so far. Back and forth. Every Skylander. Back and forth. It's just been... Every match has been so intense. And we still got... Sorry, five more inches. Man, Prism Break's really close to the edge there. Was that Prism Break's trying to hit him with his beams? His beams are a little too short. Oh, that was a good hit on Riptide there. What is Prism Break up to here? Jumping over. Looks like he's going for that bomb. I mean, the bomb did use that advantage that time over Pop Fizz. Riptide running away. That's a smart move for Riptide. Oh, he threw the bomb a little too early. Uh, Prism Break. Prism Break is going to use. He's got to use create. He's got to use creativism. For this he's got to be creative to beat Riptide there's no way he's gonna be able to beat him with offense you've seen Riptide in the last fight literally just show up you know with a giant killer whale so we I don't know what Prison Break is gonna do here he is a pretty powerful Skylander oh man he is the killer whale again look at this like what what is he gonna do like what gonna wait, wait, wait are you kidding me Prison Break surviving that that was amazing and wasted no time. Here comes Knockout Terrafin. Oh man, how did Hyper Beam Prison Break do that? That's got to be the biggest upset of this Rumble right now. Unbelievable Knockout Terrafin laying in the Hyper Beam Prison Break. Oh, this is a completely different fight right now. Hyper Beam Prison Break has got to be confident after that elimination. That is amazing. Oh man, oh man. Hyper Beam Prison. Oh, is he gonna try? He's gonna try it again. Look at that. Hyper Beam Prison Break is going to go for the same tactic he just did. Try to get Knockout Terrafin to fall for a trick. Oh, look at that. Come back into the ring. Interesting fight here. I gotta say, Hyper Beam Prison Break is really holding his own here now. I guess after that one one defeat, where he. Well, the one win where he took out Riptide, sorry, is really getting to him right now. This is, oh, big hit. Oh, beautiful landing right back onto the teleport. Nice hit right out of the gate. Terrafin is laying into him, though. This has got to be it. Oh, my God. That was brutal. Knockout Terrafin moving on to number 26. Oh, Phantom Cinder. Here we go. This should be a good one here. Phantom Cinder, you know, she has that invisibility move. But you see, Knockout Terrafin just goes right underneath, so... This should be a very, very interesting fight between these two. The only thing about Phantom Cinder is she does have that dash ability, and that could prove disastrous as you could dash off the edge. Which I've been informed, that's how Scorp was defeated, actually. I don't know if you guys seen it, because it came up so fast. I suggest going back and watching that if you haven't. He actually dashed off the edge and got eliminated, because I remember if you guys seen that in the second episode of Crash Dash, he used that dash to almost win the game, but ended up losing it in the end. But yeah... That's how, that's how simple this could be. This could be over for any Skyland. The dream could be over. And think about it. Imagine how tough these Skylanders are. Like, they could you they could go for the Crash Smash trophy as soon as this is over. As soon as Crash Smash is over, they could be the first competitor and try to take that trophy. Oh, beautiful landing by Cinder. Or they can go for the Crash Dash trophy. They think they're the fastest. They already proved they're the strongest. So when I go for that one, it's 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 win-win for any Skylander for this one. Back and forth here. Phantom Cinder is really holding her own against Knockout Terrafin here. Oh, what a nice hit there. Terrafin underneath. Look at this. This is this is a really even fight right now. I gotta say. Oh, what a hit! This could be it for Terrafin! Beautiful landing! Props to him for that. That was an amazing landing. All out offense. Here we go again. Fan this is got this is the fight of the night right here. Oh, and Phantom Cinder, and she's gone! What a fight! Phantom Cinder really held her own with that one right out of that Bumble Blast! 
on his way. Entry number 27. We only got three participants left. Nako Terrafin could do this, to be honest. He is an excellent fighter here. But here comes Bumble Blast. Oh, man. Bumble Blast does have a lot of good offensive ability using that honey tactic to shoot with the bees. Look at all these bees. Someone called Nick Cage. Oh, wait. He there. He landed, but then he slipped out the edge. Simple as that. Horn Blast Whirlwind wastes no time getting right in here as entry number 28 into the Skyland of Royal Rumble. We are getting to the end, folks. This is insane. Here comes Horn Blast Whirlwind. One thing about Horn Blast Whirlwind is her ability shoots pretty far, as you can see that. Like, she's not even hitting him. I don't even think she's even had a hit on Terrafin so far. Oh, man, oh, man. Look at that. He is late. Look up. Hornblast Whirlwind is trying to get away right now. She's trying to survive. Oh, look at that. She uses them hits there now. Oh, my God. Body slammed on top of Hornblast Whirlwind. Jeez. How is she going to be able to survive this? Terrafin is just an all-out offensive right now. What's she going for over here? What is that? She has a bomb? Is that a rocket? Oh, she's got rockets. She's got rockets, and it doesn't even look like they're helping. Oh, man. Oh, those are sleep bombs. Wait, what? Do you see the Z's above his head? Were those are sleep bombs or something? What was that? A whirlwind. Barely landing back on it. Keeping herself in the game, man. What an upset this would be if Whirlwind were to take out Terrafin. Terrafin has literally been on an all-out offensive. All-out offensive, sorry, not offensive. <laughs> in this fight right now. This has been an amazing last couple fights here. Whirlwind is trying to defend her own here. She is getting demolished by Terrafin. That's it for Whirlwind. She put up a fight. That's all I can say. Inch number 29. Oh. Ninja Self Elf. This should be a good one. I mean, she has that invisibility too. And look at that. Use that to her advantage already. Whoa, look at that. Distracting Terrafin. Look, Terrafin is attacking the wrong person. That's how you do it. Wow. That, I can't believe Terrafin fell for that. Must be the heat of the moment, you know. But this should be a good fight here. Inch number 29. There's only one participant left. We already know who that's going to be. So the person who picked him has got to be excited right now. But think about it, that they have to face off either Naka Terrafin or Ninja Stealth out to become the inaugural Skylander Royal Rumble winner. Oh, what a hit! Terrafin is good! It comes down to entry number 29, entry number 30! And here comes Pop Thorn, entry number 30! This is it! One of these two will win the Skylander Royal Rumble 2018! Leave your picks right now. Who do you think is gonna do it? What an intense match this has been. We've had shocks, we've had We've had unbelievable eliminations. We've had unbelievable defeating, undefeated streaks. But man, what it comes down to this. One of these two Skylanders is going to win the inaugural Skylander Royal Rumble. Pop Thorn or Ninja Stealth Elf. Beautiful landing from Ninja Stealth Elf there. This is for honor right now. One of these two will be going off after the Crash Dash or the Crash, tra crash Smash Trophy. Sorry. I'm so into this right now. I can barely talk. Oh, Ninja Stealth Elf. Beautiful landing. Oh, this is intense right now. Pop Thorn. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh nice landing from Pop Thorn. Pop Thorn, Pop Thorn running away. Look at this. Trying to use to his advantage. I mean, these two are still pretty fresh right now in this fight. What an intense final fight between these two. I have no clue who's going to win this right now. Oh, wait. Pop Thorn. Pop Thorn's getting out of here. Looks like he's running away. Oh, very close to the edge there. What is Popthorn doing right now? Teleporting back! Oh, look at this. Oh! Okay, Popthorn's going around. Looks like he's gonna go for that bomb. No way! Popthorn walked off the edge! Are you kidding Here's me? Here's your winner of the 2018 Skylander Royal Rumble, Ninja Stealth Elf! Unbelievable ending. Popthorn walked off the edge to eliminate himself, and Ninja Stealth Elf is the winner of the inaugural Skylander Royal Rumble. What an excellent match that was. Congratulations, Speedster Gaming, for picking Ninja Stealth Elf to win the inaugural Skylander Royal Rumble. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. I love, I'd love to hear your feedback. What do you think was the most shocking moment? What do you think was the most intense moment? This was amazing. This was one I could not expect the amount of awesomeness that this fight was. So if you guys enjoyed, you gotta let me know. Leave a like, comment below. But as always, I bid you farewell.